Hi, welcome to lecture 11 of ECE 141. Before we uh, expand our, uh, our, before we expand what we know about information theory and how to have a reliable communication systems, first let's look at the structure of the mathematics behind information theory. And information theory stems from the uh, mathematics of finite fields. So what are finite fields in the first place? So first, let's define what we call abelian groups. So abelian groups, let's say we have a set G and some binary operation den denoted by the plus sign. We constitute an abelian group if the following properties will hold. And these properties are already familiar to you from your uh, mathematics. Commutative, uh, let's say we have some elements of G, two elements, two different elements. If uh, using the operation plus, A plus B should be equal to B plus A. Associative property, if you have three distinct elements from your uh, set G, we have associativity in our opera addition operation or plus operation. The existence of an identity element, uh, there exists an, an element zero such that for any A element of G, then A plus zero is equal to A. And finally, the existence of an additive inverse. That would mean that for any element A, there exists a negative of that A, such that if we add them, quote unquote, we get the identity element of your abelian group G. So your abelian group is denoted by this expression right here. Now, the formal definition of finite fields or Galois fields. A finite set F with two binary operations, addition and multiplication, that satisfies the following properties. Your operation F plus zero is an abelian group with zero as the identity. The uh, set or the Galois field or the abelian group F minus zero, multiplication operation and uh, an identity one, is an abelian group Okay, and the multiplicative inverse is denoted by a to the minus 1, which is also an element of f. Your multiplication can be distributed over addition for any three elements of f. Then we have this, which is commutative, and you can distribute it over, all, over the sum of all your elements inside the parentheses. And this finite field can now be denoted by f plus and multiply uh, dot right here. So what are the characteristics of these finite fields that we'll use to define different parts of our information theory or reliable communication? So a Galois field with Q, so satisfies the properties of finite field exist if and only if Q is equal to P, P to the M, where P is a prime number and M is an integer. Basically, we have a Galois field if the number of elements Q is equal to P to the M, where P is a prime number and M is some integer. For example, we have GF2. GF2 has an element 0, 1, using the modulo 2 addition as the addition and your normal multiplication. So the multiplication we know from our natural numbers. So just some note. Modulo 2 addition is equal to this. So you add your elements and get the modulo 2 of that elements, basically the remainder when you divide a plus b by 2. That's your modulo 2 addition. Okay? Your addition table will become this. If you add 0 with 0, it becomes 0. You add 1 and 0, it becomes 1. If you add 1 and 1, it becomes 0. The multiplication table looks like this. If you multiply 0 by 0, it becomes 0. Multiply 0 by 1, it becomes 0. You multiply 1 by 0, it becomes 0. Multiply 1 by 1, becomes 1. So this is an example of a Galois field or a ground field. So other examples would be GF3, GF5, GF7. Basically, your number of elements should be a prime number raised to any integer Okay, now if we have a Galois field or finite field, basically a finite field as you have seen now is a field 
that has a finite number of elements. And that's actually the definition of our binary system that we use in communication systems, in digital communication systems. So we can now define polynomials that exist over the finite fields. A polynomial of degree m over a Galois field with element p is polynomial, okay, is uh, the polynomial g of x equal to this, where g sub i here, the coefficients of the polynomial, is an element of your Galois field for all i, and your g sub m is not equal to the identity element of your Galois field. Okay. Addition and multiplication of polynomials follow that of ordinary polynomials that we know in our set of real numbers and natural numbers, but addition follows modulo p. So that's an extension of modulo 2 addition. Instead of getting the uh, modulo, uh, modulo 2, you get modulo p. So some definitions, if gm is equal to 1, we call that a monic polynomial. A polynomial of degree m over gf of p that cannot be expressed as a product of two polynomials, we call the polynomial irreducible. So basically, if you cannot factor the polynomial, we call it irreducible. And finally, a polynomial is prime if it is both monic and irreducible. So this uh, prime polynomial is the basis for all our different uh, channel coding schemes that you will see in successive or succeeding lectures rather. So let's look at polynomial addition. Given two polynomials of degree m over your Galois field with p elements, you add p of x and g of x, you're basically getting the sum of the uh, coefficients of the polynomial with the same degree where the addition inside the parenthesis here indicates the modulo p addition. Your polynomial addition in GF of 2, your Galois field 2, is the same as subtraction. Since you have only two elements, well, it's bound to happen that your addition is the same with your subtraction. So let's have an example. Let's say our G of x is x squared plus x plus 1 in the Galois field 2. This is monic since the coefficient of x squared is 1. And it's irreducible since we cannot express it as a factor of or as a product of two polynomials. And finally, it's prime because it's both monic and irreducible. x squared plus 1 is in gf of 2. It's monic since the coefficient of x squared is 1. But it's not irreducible since x squared plus 1 here is equal to x plus 1 quantity squared. So how did that happen? So it's x squared, so x squared plus x plus x plus 1. So x plus x here is equal to 0. That's why it's equal to x squared plus 1. So your polynomial x squared plus 1 here in gf of 2 is not irreducible. Okay. So finally, not finally, we define extension fields of the Galois field. Your Galois field has p elements, which is a prime p, is a prime number, with polynomial of degree m. There exists p to the m polynomials with degree less than m. So this is the definition of extension fields. So assume that, let's say, g of x is a prime polynomial, and let's consider all polynomials of degree less than m over our Galois field p. Okay. If we use the addition uh, modulo p, and multiplication modulo g of x, so we'll use this operation, we can now define a Galois field with p to the m elements, which we call as an extension field. So the normal finite fields that we use are from the set f, has a modulo uh, addition, and some normal multiplication that we know. If we redefine your uh, addition and your multiplication, your addition is still the same, modulo p, but your multiplication is now modulo g of x to some g of x that is a prime polynomial, you create what we call an extension field. Okay, so first let's define polynomial multiplication. Given two polynomials of degree m, so we have p of x and g of x, the product p of x and g of x is defined as you just multiply them uh, 
normally as you multiply polynomials but you take their uh, remainder if you divide them by your g of x where g of x again is a prime polynomial under gf of p okay so your p of x g of x is the same as what you as your uh, your polynomial multiplication is in your real number in your real number system so this is also referred to as multiplication modulo g of x let's have an example so x squared plus x plus 1 is prime over gf of 2 the polynomials with degree less than 2 are these polynomials 0 1 x x plus 1 so these will be the elements of your Galois field for the addition table becomes this so this is just modulo uh, p addition so sorry modulo 2 addition your normal uh, polynomial addition as you can see here 0 plus 0 is 0 1 plus 1 0 x plus x 0 x plus 1 plus x plus 1 0 and 0 plus 1 is 1 0 plus x is x 0 plus x plus 1 is x plus 1 and so on and so forth the multiplication table here is equal to uh, 0 plus 0 and uh, sorry that this shouldn't be plus this should be minus so 0 multiplied to any element of your Galois field is still equal to 0 okay and uh, your polynomial multiplication in your Galois field will still be the same but you have to dif divide this by the prime polynomial x squared plus x plus 1 and get the remainder, you will get the multiplication of two elements from your uh, Galois field 4. So, some notes. So, using the definition for modulo g of x, okay, so x raised to 0 is equal to 1, x raised to 1 is equal to x, x squared is equal to x times x, and if we divide that by x squared plus x plus 1, we'll get a remainder x plus 1 right here. And x cubed is, if we divide that by x squared plus x plus 1, the remainder is equal to 1. And uh, as you can see, there's a pattern right here that uh, repeats over your, if you increase the exponent of x right here. So the pattern actually repeats itself for uh, n as a member of the set of natural numbers. Okay. So some notes. Okay. So label each row and column of the addition and multiplication table. Different results spanning all elements is actually seen. Okay. For example, a given polynomial. If you take the square of that polynomial, you'll just uh, arrive at this. Uh, equation right here you just get the square of each element and you retain their uh, coefficients you'll get the resulting polynomial so for example x plus 1 quantity squared is equal to this so how does how do we apply the polynomials when we're talking about um, when we're talking about digital communication systems so say given a bi binary sequence with n elements, as you can see here, the polynomial representation is equal to this equation right here. So the most significant bit, b sub n, will have the uh, coefficient or will have the variable x with the largest or with the uh, highest uh, power, as you can see here. For example, in your GF4 extension field, using x squared plus x plus 1 as the prime polynomial, your uh, two-bit combinations can be represented as polynomials as you see here. So your 0x plus 0 is equal to 0, 0, 0x zero plus 1 is 0, 1, 1x plus 0 is 1, 0, and 1x plus 1 equals 1, 1. If we try to expand the Galois field to gf of 8, so let's generate all the possible polynomials under gf of 8. Knowing that 8 is equal to 2 cubed, then we will use a polynomial of degree 3 
that is prime over gf of 2 to generate the field. So if you have a binary representation, so since we have uh, three bits that are used, we, need, we have eight elements in the Galois field, the corresponding polynomials are these. Okay? And if you use the prime polynomial, x cubed plus x plus 1, you can now generate the addition and multiplication table for the Galois field 8. As you see here, this is the addition table. And right here is your multiplication table. So that is the end of some mathematical preliminaries that you will need for information theory. So uh, if you have any questions or comments or do you need any clarifications in the lecture, just leave a comment in the comment section below. So do not hesitate to leave a comment. Right? So don't be shy. Okay. Thank you for listening. See you next meeting.